I always knew I wanted to be successful. I didn't know what it would be or what it would take to get there or what field it would be in. I was born in Detroit, lived there through elementary school. I got my master's in law in, in New York. It was the first time I really lived here and I loved living in the city. I mean, I was very urban in my thoughts. After law school, when I went back to Detroit, I lived in downtown Detroit. When offered to come to New York by uh, one of the partners in the law firm, I said, I think I'd like to go to New York for good. <laughs> it's a city with so much energy and vitality. If you really love the city, you're going to be involved in it, and you want to make it a greater city. I mean, he's worked in New York City for years, and he has tremendous grasp on what the city has to offer and to combine with his own ideas and his vision for how the city can be even a more vibrant place. I started developing affordable housing and saw the impact that that had on the city. It wasn't just to see how much money you could make, but it was really to develop something that people wanted to live in and how it impacted them. But the heart of it is really the place you're creating. It's really a question of really great placemaking. Mixed-use uh, development is something that it's in his blood. He loves the thought of creating an urban environment. I like working with good architects. I've worked with a number of some of the really the world's great architects, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. I like creative people. I like working together, you know, collaborating with them. So you want to hire the brightest, best people, work with them, and work as a team where it's not about I, it's about the team. Well, he's very respectful of architects as bringing something very important to the table. And he really looks for design creativity, and he looks for innovation, and he wants to be heard. Well, he's really tough. You really have to do something really good to get his attention. And he's very concerned about making it as high quality as possible. From an architectural perspective, he has extraordinary intuition. It's rare when I go into a meeting with Stephen Ross that the project doesn't actually come out better as a result of his interaction with us. Stephen is always intimately involved in every project. If a client is articulate and active in the process, the projects do get better. I think it's important for the public to really care about architecture, care about their cities. And I think the AIA and architects are people who the city looks to. So I think they have a very important role. Steve is always thinking about the larger context, and that's where he operates most comfortably. Steve is willing to invest more in something that he believes in will change the quality and the nature and the experience of a building in a space. He has a great belief that architecture plays an extraordinary role in the elevation of the enterprise. He has a good strategic sense of what is important. 